Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about hate. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of hate is Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. It says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who mistreat you and persecute you, that you may be children of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? If you only greet your friends, what more do you do than others? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of hate is found in 1 John chapter 3, verses 8 through 15. It says, He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. To this end the Son of God was revealed, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever is born of God doesn't commit sin, because his seed remains in him, and he can't sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are revealed, and the children of the devil. Whoever doesn't do righteousness is not of God, neither is he who doesn't love his brother. For this is the message which you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, unlike Cain, who was of the evil one and killed his brother. Why did he kill him? Because his deeds were evil, and his brothers righteous. Don't be surprised, my brothers, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life, because we love the brothers. He who doesn't love his brother remains in death. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 28. It reads, But I tell you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who mistreat you. Passage number 4. This is from Psalm chapter 97, verse 10. The scripture says, You who love Yahweh, hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from 1 John chapter 2, verses 8 through 11. The Bible says, Again, I write a new commandment to you, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light already shines. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in the darkness even until now. He who loves his brother remains in the light, and there is no occasion for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in the darkness, and walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of hate, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on hate. Passage number 6 is from John chapter 15, verses 18 through 21. It says, If the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, since I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But they will do all these things to you for my name's sake, because they don't know him who sent me. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in 1 John chapter 4, verses 19 through 21. The Bible says, we love him, because he first loved us. If a man says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar, for he who doesn't love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? This commandment we have from him, that he who loves God should also love his brother. Passage number 8. 
The eighth verse on the subject of hate is from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. It reads, The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil. I hate pride, arrogance, the evil way, and the perverse mouth. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. The passage states, Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all wrongs. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of hate is from Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. It says, Now the deeds of the flesh are obvious, which are, adultery, sexual immorality, uncleanness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of hate. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to hate and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.